There's only one thing that makes a dream a goal impossible to achieve and that is the fear of failure. In this video, I'm going to walk you through three signs you fear failure, popularly refers to atichi or atiki phobia. And we're starting right about now. Now, the first time you fear failure is your response to shame. People who are afraid of failure or afraid to fail are usually typically motivated to succeed by all means. And that is because they cannot manage the emotions, the feelings surrounding disappointment, guilt, failure, failing. And so they tend to want to ensure that they succeed by all means. Now, if that describes you, it is very understandable. But then I don't want just want to remain at that surface level. I want you to understand that when your response to shame is this way, there is something beneath it. And so let's look at how shame is kind of structured. What I want you to understand about shame is that shame is like the deepest layer of a three-layer kind of emotions at the top layer you have guilt and this has to do with your actions the things you do and second layer is regret which has to do with the efforts you make in trying to ensure that you succeed or in order to make sure that you actually not fail the deepest layer is that layer of shame and this has to do with your identity with your ego with your self-esteem so what you find is that while guilt is at the top regret is in the middle shame is at the deepest part and that is why you try to run away from that feeling of shame so that it doesn't get to be triggered by anything you are doing when your response to shame is more of i don't want to experience shame that is a sign that you fear failure second sign you fear failure is if you've had critical parents in the past and when i say critical parents in the past i'm referring to controlling parents who like to control their children parents who like to dictate everything you need to do to you and basically they tell you this is what you do this is what to wear this is where to stay this is what not to do and all that now if you've had a parent that was that critical if you've ever had a parent that expressed a lot of disappointment a parent who always expresses criticism because you grew up in that environment because you grew up with that atmosphere because you grew up with that kind of surrounding because you grew up with such people in your life you will naturally want to avoid failing by all means because you don't want that to repeat itself in your life anymore and so anytime anybody is talking to you in a particular way that reminds you of what how your parents used to talk, how your parents used to criticize you, the person basically triggers the emotion of shame, which now makes you to want to avoid failing altogether. And when I say parents, parents don't necessarily mean your biological parents. It could be maybe a foster parent, it could be maybe a stepfather or a stepmother, it could even be an uncle, an aunt, or whatever. But that's what I want you to understand. And number three sign that you fear failure is if you battle procrastination and perfectionism. And I'm combining those two together because I don't want to separate them. Now, procrastination usually results from perfectionism and perfectionism usually leads to procrastination. And what I mean by that is you don't want to fail. So you try to have full control over what is going on. So you don't want to share your work you don't want to share your idea, you don't want to share your project, you don't want to share your thoughts until you have it fully fleshed out, until you have it fully mapped out. And that's perfectionism, right? But that also creates a feeling of procrastination in the sense that because you are waiting to have it perfect, you don't want to share it. And if you battle that, you are probably dealing with the fear of failure. And that's because, again, it comes back to the feeling of shame. That is, you present a work that has not met your own personal standard. And so because it has not met your own personal standard, you begin to look at it. You be, even, we even when others look at your work, you begin to look at them as if they are looking at you such that they are seeing that your work is substandard. Elsewhere, you are just the person thinking about that. Having shared this with you right now, I know you might need further help. So if that is something that is going on at the back of your mind right now, I would like you to check out the fear resolve process using the link down below so that you can see if this is something that will work for your own situation. And with that said, if you would like to learn more about how to overcome attitudephobia, the fear of failure, check this video right in my side right now and you can actually take that up. I know I'll see you in the next video.